Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can install the Plex Media Server on your computer. All right, let's dive right into it. All right, so Plex is a very great streaming service, but you can also use it to organize your personal media library. So if you have movies or uh, music or photos and all that, you can actually use Plex Media Server, not the Plex streaming service to actually organize your personal home media and stream it to your smartphone or computer or um, smart TV. All right, so right now I'm going to install the Plex Media Server onto my Linux computer, but you can install it on Windows or Mac, or if you have a NAS drive, you can actually do that as well. And if you have like a Raspberry Pi, that's also a very good way of um, you know installing the plex media server so it is great if you have like a standalone computer that you're not using and a computer that is going to be online for uh 24 7. that way uh your media is always available and you can stream it across all your devices so, so i'm going to come to plex the tv here all right uh this is where we're going to install the plex media server uh, so just come to downloads here and then click on Plex Media Server here. All right, now choose the platform that uh, you wish to install to. Uh, for my case, I have a Linux Mint computer here. It's what I'm going to be using. But for your case, it could be uh, Mac or Windows or it could be one of the NAS drives that uh, you have lying around. So. Uh, just choose what platform you have. I'm just going to choose Linux and then the distribution. Uh, since this is Linux Mint 19, it's based on Ubuntu 18. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, download it now. So the download is uh, happening. I'm just going to quicken this up. All right, the download is pretty much complete. So I'm going to install it on my computer now. Just going to click on uh, keep here and uh, open it. Double click on the downloaded file. Uh, so since this is a, a Debian file, we just have to double click on it and just click on uh, install package uh, the way that uh, you do on Windows. You know, the Debian files are really easy to install on Linux. You just have to double click on the file and then the wizard or the installer begins to install uh, the software on your computer. So yeah thanks uh, plex for making it really easy for me and yeah the installation is now done so i'm just going to come to my menu here and see if it is available yes it's available here so just click on plex media server here and it automatically launches the web interface so uh, the way that you're going to control the plex media server is through a web interface and also you should have a plex account if you don't already have so that it can sync all your media across all the other uh, devices so i'm just going to continue with email i think yes i have an account all right so the web interface launches on localhost port three to four hundred all right, so here we have a um, home screen here. It says uh, Plex Media Server runs on a computer where you can keep your media. Yeah, Plex scans your media, automatically organizes it and makes it beautiful. Uh, thank you. Uh, play your media on any screen with uh, your favorite Plex app. So you have a uh, Plex on a smart TV, on an Android phone, iOS. Uh, you have it on uh, game console and so many other platforms. So it's really everywhere. And that is one of the biggest appeals about Plex. All right. So I'm just going to click on uh, got it. And uh, Plex Pass is a subscription service that enhances your Plex experience with a couple of uh, additional features. So if you want like live TV and DVR, uh, premium music, I think uh, thanks to Tidal and a couple of other things, then you can go ahead and, and uh, pay for Plex Pass, but I'm going to skip that for a moment. All right, so we have the server set up here. Uh, give your server a friendly name to identify Plex apps on your network. So, uh, well, Devrig Plex. Okay. 
me just do that allow me to access my media outside my home okay that's okay let's click next all right so it says here now we're going to organize our media libraries so it says organize your media plex organizes your media into libraries you can add as many libraries as you want and you can have multiple libraries with the same type all right so i have my library already organized i have music and movies under the uh, video and, and music um, folder so that's what i'm going to be doing select your media type okay movies and uh, name movies all right that's okay and uh, i'm just going to select where on my computer uh the movies are come to home okay and then home here okay dave and i'm going to come to video videos right here okay and movies okay so add all right so home okay videos movies that's where my movies are add library and uh we can also add library for music so i'm just going to tap on music here uh tap next then i'm going to browse for the music uh folder on my computer so i'm just going to come to the root directory here and come to home okay dev and then just look for music where are you here you go all right so i've just added two libraries for movies and music for now uh, but eventually you can customize it and add photos and add a couple of other things in here so it's going to click on next now and then done all right so it says plex web setup customize your media choose what you would like to have in your sidebar navigation menu right now i want movies and shows and then my music and then live tv i'm just going to leave everything the way that plex has uh defaulted it to and let's just see what we have here okay all right so this is what we have on the home screen uh all right so we have some uh, live tv here we have some web content here but i'm interested in uh, personal media here so i'm just going to tap on more on the side and then i'm going to tap on movies right here so uh what's happening here is that um Plex is now scanning through my movie directory and just uh, getting all the thumbnails, getting the subtitles, getting all the artwork and all that for my movies. And then eventually it's just going to appear here. All my personal uh, home media files are going to be uh, appearing here. All right. So I'm just going to give it some time to do the crunching and fetch the metadata from the internet. And then we'll see how that really looks like after. So let me just give it some time. All right. So uh, my content is now beginning to uh, show up under Plex. It's kind of confusing because uh, you have online sources and also your personal media. And Plex is sort of conflicted at this point whether it should prioritize your personal media or it should show the uh, web content uh, from its own sources. The interface is now beginning to be quite confusing. I'm finding it difficult to figure out where to find what. So for example here my uh, media is under home and then more and then I have to tap on Devrig Plex here. Yeah that's when my personal media really begins to uh, show up. On the Plex Media Server, on the web interface, you can always see what is happening under activity here, and the activity dashboard. You can see what is currently playing and on what device. You can see what is really going on. So if you're sharing this with uh, uh, your family members and all that, and they have devices with Plex installed, you can monitor what is going on. You can see who is streaming what. Uh, which is uh, really an awesome feature. And then you can uh, dig into the settings if you want some really fine grain control of your Plex Media server. You can get in there and uh, just um, set the streaming quality. For example, uh, you can uh, set up uh, a debugger for troubleshooting and all that so i i won't dive into this but uh you guys can get into the settings and see for yourself what you can do with plex media server 
and don't forget that uh, with uh, the plex media server it can just run on like a raspberry pi or or some computer it doesn't really need to have a monitor or a ui you only need that web user interface when you want to go in and set up your plex media server for example if you want to add libraries and so forth or if you uh, want to do some troubleshooting or debugging otherwise you don't really need the user interface at all you can just have a computer that runs 24 7 somewhere and yeah all you have to do now is to just connect your um plex clients on your phone ipad pc smart tv uh, gaming console and so forth and just stream that content uh to your devices so on my android phone i have already installed plex and what you're going to have to do is um, come to the menu option here and then come to more and then click on your uh, plex server so i called mine dev devrick plex so click on any of the uh, libraries that you have so for example music tap on the artist and then play so it immediately starts playing the uh media on your phone without the need for internet it uses your uh, wi-fi network all right so the other thing i forgot to mention is that you have to make sure that the plex media server and the client or the uh, device which is running the plex client have to be on the same wi-fi network so that is one of the prerequisites if you're going to stream your personal media to your devices and now on my ipad here it's just the same thing I already have a uh, plex and what i'm going to do is um, make sure that my ipad is on the same network as the plex media server which is my uh, linux computer here and then simply uh, start up plex after you start plex uh, come to the side panel or to the side menu and then tap on more and then you can see here where it says devrick plex select your uh, plex server and then tap on the media library that you wish to uh, play so for my case it's music tap on the artist uh, you can see you have artist artwork uh, biography you have all the songs here and then you can just tap away and play your music this is uh, really really the beauty and the power of plex also i'm going to access plex on my roku media player here i have a roku streaming stick plus and with uh, plex installed and the roku media player is on the same network as my roku media server so it will automatically auto detect my plex media server all right so i'm just going to start my roku uh stick here and then start plex and then uh, we see what it has so uh, i'm just going to tap on plex here all right uh, it will automatically auto detect the uh, roku media server so on the menu come to more here all right and then you can see uh, my plex media server has been detected as devrick plex uh, with all my personal media already uh, curated for me so all you have to do is just browse through the media file that you wish to play and just go ahead and play all this uh, requires only your home network your wi-fi network it does not necessarily need the internet to be able to work so because your media is available on your home wi-fi network it just streams directly without the need for the internet so i think that's one of the power and the beauty of plex uh the downside is that it's pretty pretty confusing because plex is now both an online streaming service and also uh, a personal home media server so it kind of confuses me exactly how to find my personal media versus how to get uh, content online and if you're not a uh, plex fan there are a couple of other personal home media servers out there that you can consider uh, the biggest contender is definitely Kodi. it's really really huge i'm a huge fan of Kodi and that is something that you can use it's a little bit intimidating and complex but power users really appreciate the uh, ability to customize a number of things the other option if you don't go with Kodi or plex is uh, jellyfin 
which itself is uh, a fork of uh, MB, the open source media uh, player. So MB had a couple of issues. I think they changed their licensing and, and so forth. They added some proprietary stuff. So part of the community did a fork and they created uh, Jellyfin out of it. So Jellyfin is extremely powerful as well as a media server. All right, this is the end of our Plex Media server installation and setup. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us a like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.